Hi guys, this is Courtney from uh, WordPress Tutorial Videos and uh, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys how to uh, create your icon and how to install it in WordPress with the with the uh, all-in-one um, uh, Favicon or Favicon, however you pronounce it, a plugin. I think it's Favicon since your uh, Favicon or favorite is basically an icon and if you've read the article I did on it, you can read about the pros and cons of having one or whether or not it helps you with your SEO or not. Um, personally, I think everyone should have one. Again, it's just a way to brand you, to brand yourself. And that, as you can see here, I have all of my uh, favicons or uh, book, bookmarks here up on my toolbar. And it's just a quick visual uh, representation of where you need to go. I really don't even have um, names on most of them. You can see I had to look at it and I know exactly where I'm going. So we're going to show you how to create one using uh, GIMP over here. And um, also I'm going to quickly show you how you can go over here and make your own at this website, the favicon.cc. And over here where you can get free uh, favicons if you don't want to create you can find one that fits your particular niche and install that the plugin we're going to be using is the all-in-one favicon from WordPress but like I said we're going to start with the, our uh, GIMP and creating one and I'm going to go in here real quick and show you how to do it so let's just go here to GIMP and we're going to go and create new now as you know as you may already know uh, favorite cons are 16 by 16 pixels so keeping with that with those numbers we could double triple it and we're gonna go and just do keep one at 256 by 256 so when we size it down everything's gonna be you know uh, the ratio is gonna equal out the right way so let's go ahead and now we just have a simple box here. What I'm going to do instead of just making a box um, favicon, I want some rounded corners on it. So first thing I'm going to do um, is go over here and I'm just going to add a uh, an alpha channel here. And I'm going to make sure that's uh, selected. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to right click on that and go alpha to selection. So I'm selecting this whole area. Uh, let's go over here and do rounded rectangle and we're going to make it about let's say 35 for the radius and you can see here we have this nice little area here instead of just having a box uh, let's keep that selected and go up here and do a select and invert and just hit delete so we delete that out and we just end up with a box okay now I'm going to go select and I'll go none. Now I'm just going to go again alpha to selection and select just this portion. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here to my gradient tool. And for this I'm going to make sure the gradient is on foreground to transparent. That's fine. And I want to change that black to a blue. And I'm just going to select the area within here and we're just going to give it a little a little kind of color there. Okay. So now that we have that done, that's fine. We can go ahead and go select none and get rid of that. Let's go to our text tool and I'm going to go with uh, let's go with a red for the our text color. And then let's go over here to our fonts and pick something that's bold uh, let's go with this one because we're going to be sizing this down so nice big letter thick letters is kind of what you want uh, let's just click over here let's say I wanted to call this just you know W um, T for like WordPress tutorials or whatever I'm um, gonna go ahead and just go to size over here and size that up and just move it kind of place it in here and that should be good gotta go ahead and close that out for now and if I hit my letter M as in Mary kind of just shows me there you can see up here what we're kind of looking at what it's gonna 
possibly look like. And that's pretty good. Now, of course, you can go in and do whatever you want here. This is just kind of an example on how to do it. So I'm going to click in here and I see this little box. So I want to make sure everything is, is properly set up. So I think I have to go over here to um, my layers. Is it layers? Yeah. And go layer to image size. And that kind of takes that away and makes it all one. I'm going to go over here to the text. And I'm just going to merge that down. So I have one nice, <coughs> excuse me, one nice little box here. Let's go up to file now. Let's say we've done everything and we're done. Okay. Uh, we're going to go save that as, I'm going to go over here, make sure I'm on my desktop. Let's just call it wt.png, okay? And then we're going to go save to the desktop, and we're going to go save again, and now that should be on our desktop. So if I go open that up, now you can see there we have a nice, image with rounded corners. Now it is, of course, like I said, whatever you want to make. Um, actually, I should have sized this down because um, you see we're still at 256 by 256. So I could have actually sized this down. If you're going to do it the old-fashioned way, you're going to want to go ahead and size this down. But I'm going to show you that this still should work for what we're doing. Let's go in here and let's go over to the site. You can see my favorite con now is my film strip. And again, you want something, you put whatever you want, but something that people look at and they say, okay, yeah, I remember that site. It was about video training, so that's why I have a video strip up there. But let me go ahead and show you how we, if I wanted to change this, I'm going to go into my, my dashboard here. And I'm going to go into plugins. And this is the plugin that you're going to want to go install. It's called the All-in-One Favicon. Um, and to do that, you would just go up to Add New when you're in your plugins, and you just put all in all in one favicon and when you search for plugins uh, you should find it see here it is you can see I already have it installed so that's all you're going to do on that um, to, to find this plugin but I already have it installed so let's go over here to settings okay there's the icon the favicon that I already have but let's browse to my desktop and get the one I just did which was this WT this is a great, excuse me, this is a great um, uh, plugin because this, this is all you need to do. And you can see you can use all different formats here. Once you put it in, just click on save. Okay. You see how big it is? Um, and that's why I'm saying you, you might want to size that down. If you're doing it the traditional or old fashioned way, you're going to want to size that down and, and so that um, it'll work. Uh, but for this, this is fine. I mean, it's, this looks kind of funky, so I'll probably go back and, well, we're not going to keep it anyhow. But as you can see now, and I refresh the screen, there we go. We have it up there. You can see it's just a, uh, you can see how the bowl sticks out. And that's basically how you do it. Now, say, for instance, that you want to make your own. You go over here, and these links are available to you. I could actually take this now and create a new one. If I wanted to create a new one, I would just get in here and just start writing, you know, whatever I want to do to create my own. And you could go, you know, mess around with this. And you can see as you create here, it's going to give you an image of what it looks like right there. But let's say I want to, I have something that I like. You can go over here to import and then browse. I could pull this one directly into this um, this free icon maker it. it shows you right here what it looks like just like what we did I could go in here and you know change things or do whatever this is where you could tweak it but of course or you know I like it as is but this is good if you find something out there that you like and you want to tweak it you would come in and use this program okay this other program here uh, it's not a program but this website is where you can get free favicons and let's say you, you just go in here and use all kind of categories. You can find what you like or whatever. But you can find something in here that you might like. And then if you do find something, say you like this green flag, you just click download. And then you can download this favicon. You, if you download a favicon and you want to use this pro, you know, the, um, the plugin that we're using over here, what you're going to want to do is take it because it's 
let's see here it is here this green flag it comes in ICO format so you basically want to go in to whatever graphic program you're using you could even pull it into GIMP and then save it as and um, you know like a JPEG or a PNG or what have you and then once you have it saved like that then you can go back and incorporate it into your um, <clears throat> into the into the um, this plugin uh, so you have these two programs and like I said of course we use GIMP to you know to create to create it and so there you go um, I hope this has been helpful to you guys uh, if you enjoyed this go ahead and um, st stop by visit the website unless you're actually on the website go ahead and like uh, give us a like on our fan page and thanks for stopping by we'll see you later bye bye